Well, hello and thank you for joining me for another Alex on Tech and Tech Advice Live video. I'm, I'm here with Dimitri Nekrasov. He's a luxury watch dealer in the luxury watch industry, and he's going to be telling us all about Mohan Musi. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you for having me. So. Uh, this is the international, the Sydney International Watch Fair. There's some incredible brands here, and I've got a bunch of other videos that people can tune into. But tell us a little bit about Mohan Musi. <clears throat> Mohan Musi comes from a proper engineering background. So the owner wanted to create a watch that's something different that's never been done before. As an engineer himself, he wanted to manufacture a watch that does not have a rubber seal, so no O-ring whatsoever, and retain its uh, waterproof uh, properties. So this watch here, it's actually waterproof to 300 meters wow. without a single rubber seal being placed. How did they achieve that? Yeah, I was going to say. Very simple. Instead of manufacturing it with a classic seal from the top bottom approach, they started from the bottom up. So you've got two pieces of finely machined crystal sapphire. Let me show you right here. Sure. Let me just uh, zoom in. No problem. So you got one on the front, you got one on the back. Mm -hmm. Now when we're talking finely machined, this is to a nanometer. So this is the smallest that it gets. The precision has to be completely, completely spot on, otherwise the water will get in. Now, after the crystal has been uh, machined and the case itself, they're both placed on top of each other and secured with these latches. As you can see, we've got latches on either side. Mm -hmm. The latches have a few bolts, lightly, lightly tightened and keep them in place. But it's this precision that allows them to not use the rubber seal or the O-ring itself. Now, uh, what else do we have here that is uh, worth highlighting? Uh, let me show you this piece over here. So this is a very unique dial, just one of their um, innovative pieces. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so we've got the hour markers over here. Mm -hmm. And this is actually the minute hand. Now you're going to ask me, how does it change hour? Let me show you real quick. Okay. Sick. As you can see, it's there changing color from black to blue. Yeah. And once it's done the entire round across, so it does it 12 hours, it goes back to black. Incredible. Yeah, just innovative, just something different for the watch industry. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, all of these uh, luxury Swiss watches, I mean, we know the term complication because it's the Swiss watchmakers that introduced Correct. the various complications. And I mean, now we have all the uh, smart watches that have complications, but the luxury Swiss watches are still innovating to this very day. To this very day. And one important thing to point out about this brand, the, the owner, the creator of this, wanted to keep everything in-house. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about Swiss made, we're talking about 60% of the watch being made in Switzerland. With Moromusi, 100% is made in Switzerland. So we're talking the rubber comes from a rubber factory outside of Geneva. The leather on the leather straps is on farms found in Switzerland. Incredible. As well as the metals, the machining, the entire process is all done in factory in Switzerland. So 100% of the watch is actually Swiss. Okay, well as I've explained before, I'm a technology journalist, so I always like to ask the people I'm interviewing, can you please share a memory of your first personal computer? First personal computer? Uh, when I was young in Russia, we didn't have much, mm -hmm. but we did have a Sega. So uh -huh. I still remember playing my first games on a Sega, I'll never forget that. <laughs> yeah, those were the days. Kids today don't realize how good they've got it with all these 100%. You know, virtual reality and all the rest. It was now, simple, but it was fun. Yes, yeah. Well, that was the thing. You had to mm -hmm. have a game that was quick to understand and learn and get addicted to mm -hmm. uh, because you had so few resources. Color graphics were, you know, a luxury. If you had to have a color TV back in the early so, days, my first computer was black and white. There you go. <laughs> So my second last question is to ask if you could please share some of the best advice you've received in life mm -hmm. to help you get where you are today. Best advice, best advice. A gentleman once told me, he goes, whatever you do in life, don't chase the money. Focus on what you do, use it as a passion, chase a passion, chase a dream. Do something that you're actually interested in. Mm. You chase money, you're gonna get, you won't get far. You may get some money, yeah. but if you chase your dream, your passion, and you wanna wake up and do it every day 100%, the money will come. So what is your final message to those who uh, are looking at the Sydney International Watch Fair and thinking of coming on Friday or Saturday? Come past, have a champagne, let me show you some watches. Wonderful. Well, Dimitri, thank you so much for taking the time to join me today. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.